Hey guys, it's gonna be a long time no see. And I'll say it again, I am actually not doing many videos because I'm working on this big project that I'm working on. It's a, I think it's the biggest thing I've done um, since the channel started. I can't share it with you yet. Hopefully sometimes this week, hopefully. It's not up to me, so hopefully sometimes this week. And then you'll understand why I'm not doing so many videos. But today's special, today is very special. And there's a lot of things to talk about. But before I do that, gentle reminder, as always, to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. Today is January 17th. Yes, so that means we are exactly one month away from the release of the King of Fighters 15. Finally, we've been waiting for this day for a couple of years now, right? Since that announcement at EVO. And actually, almost three years. Two years and a half. <laughs> and um it's it's finally almost here right it's 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 about a month february 17th for everyone some people those who pre-order the um the deluxe edition will get it on the 14th so that's three days before so we're less than a month obviously i'll be getting the deluxe edition so let's see um you know i can't wait for the game to come out and to finally play it and learn the story and the, the characters and the dlc and I just, and all the interactions between the characters, the story mode again, it's just, I am really, really pumped for this game, and I'm sure you are as well. And also this week is very special because it's going to be the week we're gonna find out the final roster, the final character from the base roster of the game is going to be released this week. Uh, there was some, some speculations or some leaks, and we kind of have an idea who that probably will be. We'll see, it's only two days away. And then we'll finally know that the entire base roster, which is, I gotta say, it's quite a solid base roster. I'm not happy about Kim not being in the initial roster, but I have no doubt in my mind that Kim is gonna make it to 15 and through the DLC characters. I mean, we there was also some possible leaks for the first season of the DLC characters, but I do believe we're gonna get more seasons and Kim is gonna be in there. He has, he has to be. Speaking of the DLC character now, um, if we go by Samurai Showdown, I think we're gonna know, we're gonna know the, uh, these characters before, you know, like we're gonna go, probably maybe before the, uh, maybe before the release of the game, maybe right after, but I, I think SNK is going to reveal those characters so that people can decide whether they want to go with the del deluxe edition and, and order the DLCs at once, or they're not happy about the characters that are in there. So I think we're gonna see those, uh, before, before launch. So I think from now to February 17th, it's gonna be, uh, quite a busy, uh, busy uh, few, you know, couple, few weeks because we're gonna get more information about the King of Fighters 15. And the first thing I want to talk about again, the release of the King of Fighters 15. As you know, there are a couple um, collector's edition coming out for the King of Fighters 15, uh, but it was mainly in Europe, right? We have the excellent Pix and Love guys working on an amazing looking uh, collector's edition, and then we have uh, Kosh Media who's also working on another. Um, the collector's edition called the Omega edition, the King of Fighters 15 Omega edition. That was only for Europe, but surprise, surprise, they announced on Friday that yes, that Omega edition is also coming out to the US, to North America in general. It is happening, and they, you know, they, they listened to us. A lot of you were not happy about these collector's edition not being, uh, being only in Europe all the time. So the Omega edition comes with the um, it basically comes with the game obviously it comes with a 119 pages art book it comes with three awesome looking lithographs as you can see here the main game obviously a special slipcase showing Iori in all his glory as as well as the team pass one so this is not the deluxe edition this is just team pass one not one and two and also comes with the Garou Mark of the Wolves and classic Leona costume as well as the soundtrack for the game. So the Omega Edition is not up for pre-order yet, but it's supposed to be showing up on GameStop anytime now, as well as on Amazon. I'll let you, I'll let you guys know once that happens. The last thing I wanna talk about is the Taipei International Game Show, which is happening on January 23rd, so that's literally next week, and SNK is annou has announced that there's a special stand in there called SNK Cross uh, Kosh Media and there's going to be a special King of Fighters 15 exhibition and there's going to be some guest players and two of them have been announced and that's the legendary E.T. as well as ZJZ. 
Now, both these players are very renowned in the King of Fighters community, and they're gonna get to play the games and fight each other in the King of Fighters 15. I do think this is going to be the final build of the game because we will have all the base roster revealed by then. So I think this is gonna be the entire roster, and this is gonna be the first time we're gonna be seeing some, um, some new matches showing some of the characters that we haven't seen in the first or second beta. But all in all, this is some exciting, exciting uh, time to be alive. And if you're a King of Fighters fan, uh, it's you know full steam ahead. A lot of information are gonna be coming our way. I'm expecting a few trailers before the release of the game and more reveals, hopefully, probably the DLC. I can't wait to see who the, the, the get a confirmation who the DLC characters are and see if those leaks are real or not. So are you guys excited about the King of Fighters 15 coming out in about in exactly a month? You know, February 17th. Let me know in the comment section who do you hope the last character is and what are your hopes for the DLC characters beyond Team 1 and Team 2, so beyond the first season of the DLC. Let me know all that and more in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort. And being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Bryant Yard, Fahad Suwaidi, and Jack Paul. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamiya, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Ji Hao Ju, Muhammad Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, Burned Retinas, Lily Wong Esmeralda, and Goran. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.